book is uh, having like an out of body experience right now, by the way, just because I've seen people do these type of interviews. And um, they always look really actory to me, so I'm trying not to try not to pose. But seriously, how does my fucking chin look? I'll fucking kill you. It better look good. <laughs> I've been on tour now for three weeks for my book, Dark Sparkler. Um, my book is something that took me six years to write and it explores the lives and deaths of mostly child star actresses, but really any actress that died before the age of 40. So like Brittany Murphy, Dana Plato, Rebecca Schaefer, and then, you know, a lot of women we don't know. Most people know me from my acting work like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants or House or General Hospital. I started acting when I was 11 years old, which is also when I started writing poetry. I didn't believe I could ever have an identity outside of being an actress. The poems in my book Dark Sparkler explore the lives and deaths of actresses my own age. By studying them, I was studying myself in a way. Dark Sparkler is as much about my own rebirth as it is their deaths. Through telling their stories, I found my voice. For the most part, the roles that are written for women, they're just fluffy versions of what women are. And there's nothing that really speaks to the depth of how scary things can be. Tonight I have a show at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery with Yola Tango, where we'll be performing some of the poems in the book. How much? Okay. How much? How much what? For a quickie. For a quickie? What are you talking about? That's right, I just flirted with my dad. Just got fucking real. Whenever I come into Los Angeles, I, uh, I go for a walk with my dad on the Pacific Palisades, which is always really nice. I used to come here with Natalie Wood. Really? What'd you guys do here? Smoke pot? <laughs> get, get in trouble? Make out? Well, all the, all, the, you can tell us. all the above and... Uh, <laughs> so you're looking forward to tonight? Yeah. This is going to be a first. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, too, just because, you know, some of the women that are in the book are buried there, so... Um, oh, really? Yeah, like, you didn't know Jane Mansfield, did you? Oh, yeah, I knew her. Did you her. know her? Oh, yeah, I used to bump into her on purpose. <laughs> I definitely think having strong relationships with my parents is a major part of who I am and how I got to where I am and, and having their love and their support and them letting me just do terrible, terrible things as a teenager. <laughs> Thanks for the walk. Love oh, you. I got warmed up. Love you too, honey. I'll see you tonight. All right. Okay. Bye bye. We're gonna stop by and visit my husband David, who's doing a new show for Netflix called With Bob and David. Hi, dudes. How's it going? Good. How's it going? You know, we've been together for seven years, and uh, we're both really, really private. So people think he's a dick, but for me, I always feel bad because he's so funny and loving, and. Um, and gracious and protective and kind, and so I want more people to to see that. Honey, I, I hate to break it to you, but this is actually a uh, pilot for a reality show for marriage counseling. Okay, great. Session? I like it. All right, well, let's uh, let's, <laughs> let's get this shit over with. What, what do you, do you have a question for me? <laughs> I'm very proud of Amber. Uh, I wish she was here to see this and hear me say this. Uh, no, I'm very proud of her. I'm proud of the book. And I'm excited to see it performed because I've read it. And I like that uh, experience with it. Hearing, you know, you can't help but put it in your internal voice. And then, so seeing it performed will just raise it to another level. We met on a tiny, you know, puddle jumper plane. For a long time, it was not a sexual thing. I mean, I put all that aside because I thought how I'm this creepy older guy who knows that she's a fan. So it was all kind of platonic. Are you saying you weren't sexually attracted to me? No, I'm saying I was. I put it away. I put it down. And uh, Boy, that would be a sad revelation. <laughs> um, just this whole time, just like. Why do you think I make you put a mask on and then I fuck you in the ass from behind? Why do you think? Have you not connected uh... the two things? Right, yeah, right, yeah. You know how many people are gonna watch this and go, that guy's a dick. <laughs> that's <laughs> how that's I totally. get my reputation. <laughs> like, right, that guy's a jerk. What a shitty guy. What a terrible husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wanted. If you're happy. Thank you. By two, by two men. I got that's why this is nice, because it's, uh, it's real. 
And I think people rarely I get know, to see I mean, that. It's not real. It's not. It's it is real. Of... What you just said in there is real. Well. Oh my God, we're already right. in a fight. We're already in a fight. <laughs> but it's it is a camera on you. It's just not ever. But you're right. Yes, that is weird. I think it's weird. Uh, but what you said is real, and I don't think people get to see that part of you very much. So. Yeah, but that's for you. It's not for fucking whoever just, you know, clicked on. Oh, honey! <laughs> All right, let's get into cars. Let's go get bourbon. Let's go get bourbon and fucking cry and talk about actresses some more. We're going to um, go meet up with my friend Derek Brown, who's an amazing poet from Austin, who's hosting tonight. Like, I'm not sure. I don't know if there'll be anything specific. Thank you. All right, so uh, do you want me to introduce you guys as Amber Tamlin and Yula Tango present Dark Sparkler or something else? Uh, you don't have to say present even. You could just say, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amber Tamlin and Yula Tango. You could just do it like that. Okay. I always joke that I have reverse body dysmorphia uh, because I see myself as really fly and I really enjoy a good cheeseburger. But that in and of itself, me feeling good about the way I look and people going like, oh, no, no, you really should, you really should lose like 40 to 70 pounds. Um, you know, was uh, feeling like, oh, am I wrong? Am I missing something? Am I uh, stupid for feeling this great about myself? So that in and of itself would kind of fuck me up. And the book was my way of freeing myself from all of that. Wow, we're here, this is crazy. I think this was a real discovery for me in that sense of, um, of not quite understanding my healthy relationship with death. I thought about death all the time. All the time I wrote about it, but it became an obsession and I didn't understand what it meant until I realized that uh, the book in and of itself is sort of an invitation to my own funeral, to the me that didn't want to exist anymore, to the me that felt helpless, the me that was a child actor that knew nothing other than that and didn't feel like her voice mattered outside of auditioning. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the author of Dark Sparkler, Amber Tamblin and Yola Tango, everybody. I wrote these poems and that talk about these issues that are not specific at all to actresses. If there's one thing I've learned, it's having people come up to me and say that they feel these same pressures and pains and have this same relationship to their body and their feelings and who they are. How's everybody feeling tonight? Why do you insist on wearing that sugar coat in the July of your life? I want to look you in the shards. Go down on your cliche until your taboo kabooms. What's the point of sobriety when you can be the cherry on top? When you can put confetti in the condom or pussy pop in clogs? Wrap yourself in Christmas lights. It's just the revolution talking. That's just the Sunday I'm going to answer your prayers with. And this is the film. Finally, get cast in. 